after I eat a meal here, look, busted. <laughs> What's up guys, Mike Dolce talking about the number one exercise I would do if I was stranded on a desert island. What one exercise would I do? What is the first exercise I mandate every one of my private clients do? What is the one exercise you might most likely neglect but will give you the greatest possible benefits. That's what we're talking about today. Please, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. I appreciate that. Check the links. We got awesome stuff. What lifting straps, what knee sleeves, all the stuff that we use, that I use, that I suggest in the links below. Now, what is the number one exercise I suggest? It is the exercise with the least barrier of resistance and the highest yielding rewards for every single able-bodied human being. It is walking, not just walking. I'm gonna tell you how to walk for optimal results. Some thumb dicks in my uh, Instagram comment section are like, oh, Dolce, I've been walking my whole life. Yeah, whatever, hard pass. They don't get it. I scroll to their page, dude looks like chewed up bubble gum, right? His body looks disgusting. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Uncle Mike here, four-time world MMA trainer of the year, the most successful weight management coach in the history of combat sports. Here to give you the low down the facts. Why would I lie? Honestly, why would I lie? Why would I make stuff up? Why would I tell you something that doesn't work? The whole relationship we have is predicated upon me telling you stuff that works, that only works. Not what's my opinion, not what do I think in a hypothetical. I'm here to tell you what works. Stop wasting time. Start getting ripped, jacked, stacked, sculpted, toned. Start making gains, baby. That's my job. So now, how do we do this? All walking is great. Walking falls into the category that we call NEAT, non-exercise associated thermogenesis. Simply walking, the more walking, the more steps you perform, the more body fat you are liberating that is stored around your belly. Body fat cells are basically pantries where energy, excess energy, leftover energy is stored. Unfortunately, most humans keep stuffing food down their faces that those pantries get filled up and there is never a need to release those. So what do we suggest? We suggest walking while fasted first thing in the morning. That's the optimal time that you are actually fasted, right? So go for a walk first thing in the morning after hydrating, maybe a little bit of caffeine, walk out your front door. Pick 15 minutes in one direction, turn around and come home. The next day go 16 minutes, then 17 minutes, then 18 minutes, all the way up until you're walking for 45 to 60 minutes per day in a fasted state. I guarantee you, if you don't do anything else to your diet, to your strength training, to your sleep, to your stress management, if that is all you do, you don't make any other changes, you will transform your body rapidly in less than a month. You will be losing two to three pounds per week of pure body fat simply by adding that one protocol. And I mean pure body fat. You are not breaking down, you're not losing muscle tissue by walking. You know how you can break down muscle tissue? High intensity cardiovascular activity, high intensity interval training, zone three, zone four, zone five, can break down muscle tissue if you are not bringing in a excess of calories now to go back to those muscles. Walking, low intensity steady state walking will preserve muscle tissue while reducing total body fat. Walking also has been shown to dramatically improve mood. It's true. And emotional health. It's true. Getting outside, ideally walking, when the sky is blue or rainy. I walk all winter. I walk in the rain. I walk in the snow. I walk in the burning hot sunshine. And I walk on beautiful spring days just like today. I am outside year-round. You just dress for it. 
Dress for the weather, get outside, get uncomfortable, burn body fat. Now, what are the other best times? Some of you are busy, you can't quite get it in fasted first thing in the morning, not a problem. When is the best time? When you have time to do it. When I travel, I walk everywhere. I park in the farthest spot in the parking lot and I walk the extra 20, 50, 100 yards back and forth. When I check into a hotel, I ask for the highest floor possible that I don't have to pay extra for, take the elevator up, drop my bags off, and then every time I have to go back downstairs, I take the stairs. And when I go back up to my room, I take the stairs. I walk. I avoid escalators, right? I use my little legs or my massive tree trunk thighs. I walk as often as I can everywhere I go. After I eat a meal here, look, busted. After I eat a meal, I go for a quick walk around the plaza. When I'm home after dinner, we finish eating dinner, I grab my daughters and we go for a walk around the block around the neighborhood. There's a multitude of benefits from walking. The number one exercise I would perform is not the squat, it's not the push-up, it's not the pull-up. Those are great, but nothing beats walking. While you are walking with proper gait, proper form, proper locomotion, you are actually utilizing every muscle in your body. And if you're really focused on proper posture, tucking the chin back, nice tall, long spine, pushing your hips forward, pulling that stomach in, shoulders back, sternum out. You are now working every muscle in your body the way they were intended to synergistically work together. Any questions, leave questions below this video. Now, I will tell you, you will see a lot of other fitness influencers who have been calling me crazy, talking smack about me talking about walking are now starting to talk about walking. I've been talking about walking. You guys have known I am the king of lists. I've been talking about it for over a decade publicly. I have one of the um, oldest videos on YouTube on lists. I think Jeff Nippert came out with one, but he was actually debating whether or not lists or hit was more effective. And he was like, well, whatever you want to do. Wrong, Jeff. It's lists. Because not everybody can run Jeff Nippert, right? Not everybody is a bodybuilder champion like Jeff Nippert is. There's a lot of people out there that are 40, 60, 80 pounds overweight. They got bad knees. They got bad hips. They got bad backs. They can't go run and do high intensity interval training. But every able-bodied human can walk. And the more you walk, then you can start to jog a little bit. Then you can run. Then we can start flexing a little bit into zone three, zone four, zone five. That will be in another video. What do you guys think? Leave comments below. Ask me any questions, of course. I appreciate you guys being here. And also, is there any other content you want to hear? Again, leave it in the messages below. Check out our Instagram page. Send me a DM on Instagram where I answer your questions in voice. I've been doing that. A lot of people really get a kick out of that, which I just don't type fast. So I figured I'd just voice respond. You'll get like a minute response from me screaming and yelling at you and answering whatever questions you have. I think that's it. That's it. Check the links below. Once again, we got really cool stuff down there. And until next time, boom.